Monday's tornadoes also hit Brookville hard. I want you to take a look at this. The roof of the high school it's just gone. That means students are getting an early start to summer. Just to give you an idea where Brookville is, it's about 15 miles northwest of Dayton. You can see that in the map behind me. That's where nine on your sides. Mariel Carbone joins us live now, and I understand you spoke with the superintendent, Mariel. I did, and he tells me this school, which is in pieces behind us now, it's really the centerpiece of the community. There's about 1500 students that go here and actually many of them back here today helping clean up and move this community forward. Lockers Everybody's still intact, and... full of belongings. We couldn't go there for the last couple days and like all of our stuff is there. We didn't get to say like goodbye to anybody. The school year now over for Brookville students after a tornado ripped through the building wrapping up the school year four days early. We got out of school early, but like not for a good reason. Like, I'm, I mean, yeah, it's summertime, but I didn't want it to end like this. Students now using that early start of the summer to give back, picking up the pieces of their community from the football field to nearby homes. I mean, it was bad, but this could have been a lot worse. And if we didn't have the community we have, this would probably be a lot worse of a time for everybody. Watch your step, guys. Inside the school, Superintendent Tim Hopkins says crews are working to build a temporary roof. Right now, desks are wrapped with the ceiling clear and open to the sky. Now it's just kind of taken one day at a time and uh, working on and hoping that we can be back in business in August. He says his biggest concern is for the students. You know, this is home to them nine months out of the year, and it's the safe place they come to every day. And so uh, I'm sure that, you know, they're feeling the trauma as well. But those students, they're okay and working hard to make sure others are too. We'll probably be working until it's all really cleaned up and pretty good. So they'll be out there till curfew. There is a curfew in town, so the students plan to keep working until then. But one other thing to mention, the superintendent tells me that there were actually two custodians in the building when the tornado hit. They were luckily in a safe place and OK, but obviously a lot of damage as that tornado passed by. Reporting live in Brookville, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side.